Holiday season means it's tipping season, and that can be a bit stressful. After all, how much are you expected to tip someone who you do business with? Well, we're here to help. Tipping is a topic many of us wrestle with throughout the year, especially during the holidays. Jennifer Barker, who manages a hair salon, says many of her customers find figuring out who to tip and how much very confusing. The general rule around tipping in a salon is that there are no rules about tipping. Our partners at the Consumer Guide Angie's List say you are not required to tip with cash. Most people automatically think, I need to pay cash. But what they don't realize is there's lots of other options. For example, I think one of the most powerful ways to say thank you to a provider is to write a nice letter to their company telling them what great service they provided you throughout the year. Many contractors, for instance, would prefer a good referral or positive online review. Is by having me back for more projects at their own property, um, you know, in the near future, or uh, also just referrals. Of course, everyone loves cash, so if you're considering tipping with bills, Angie's List has these suggestions. Mail and paper delivery, $20. Yard workers or handymen, $20 to $50, depending on how often they visit. Babysitters, one night's pay. Child care providers, $25 to $75 each. And house cleaners, $25 to $50. Also, don't forget your trash hauler, but don't tape money to the outside of the garbage pail. And finally, for hairdressers and manicurists, Angie suggests doubling your normal tip. On WCPO.com, who will be selling brand new iPhones for just $27 this weekend? Check out my reports. You don't waste your money, Brendan. How much do you?